Uh, listeners, right now we have uh, this privilege, this opportunity to be speaking to uh, Vancouver, Vancouver uh, producer Christian Bruyere of uh, Mystique Films. Film uh, coming out uh, this uh, December 21st uh, and also on the 25th on CTV Holiday Spin. Uh, how are you doing? And thank you for taking the time to do this interview. Uh, it's doing really well on Lifetime. We made the film with uh, Lifetime funding, life, Lifetime uh, license, and uh, a foreign license, and uh, also CTV. Thank you, CTV. <clears throat> what was your uh, decision, like your conviction, uh, or just initial motivation for working on a Christmas theme? Well, they're, they're fun. Um, Number one, they're fun. Number two, uh, they continue to play year after year after year. So you're just, you know, you're not going to just get one chance to uh, have your film or have your movie shown and then, uh, you know, never hear, never hear anything about it again. With Christmas stuff, I mean, it's it's evergreen. You can, uh, you know, some some of these Christmas shows go on for 20 years. Oh yeah, like it, it, it's a wonderful life. It can go on yeah. longer. Well, oh, that's even more. <laughs> uh, yeah, if it's okay to go back to uh, the whole writing process, working on this script. But I didn't write it. Uh, it was it was the the writer uh, basically sent me something that uh, was completely different than anything that Lifetime would would ever uh, you know would ever consider. It was actually a dance contest, uh, and there were the couple. Uh, it was it was two gay fathers, and uh, they all of a sudden had to uh, take care of uh, one of their, uh, you know, one of their sons. Had to live with them after his mother died. So it was it was you know quite a crazy script and I says well look at let's not make it gay you know let's <clears throat> let's have you know a, a straight couple uh, Lifetime will go for it and uh, I was told by Lifetime that one of the things they did, didn't want anymore or this year uh, is you know any more Christmas films with mothers so they wanted something with a father. So what we did is we built that script into uh, father-son re- reconciliation that really worked, really worked well. And then we, we had the, the dance theme. So we have all these dancers from So You Think You Can Dance and Dancing with the Stars and, uh, you know, winners of, uh, and, and, you know, people like Ralph Macchio, who uh, you know, really did well with Dancing with, uh, Dancing with the Stars. And there's a lot of dance in this movie. What's that whole dynamic like when you're... Because the, there's so many um, different... I don't know if you can say... Yeah, genres involved in this film, like uh, dynamics. Uh, there's the father-son dynamic. Uh, of course, we mentioned the Christmas theme, the love story, uh, the dancing. And then there's a bit of MMA fighting. So, like, you're producing in, in the post-production editing, like, just playing with all those di- dynamics... The gratification do you get from a uh, creative aspect? Well, the creative aspect was was terrific because I like dance. I like uh, I like you know I'm, I'm trying to get into lighter stuff. I'm I'm known for uh, some pretty heavy stuff, but I was I was really wanting to get into this uh, you know uh, something that was entertaining, uh, something that was Christmassy, and uh, the the original script did have some a lot more MMA. But we, we 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 toned it down a bit. But we we do have that. But most of it is, is ballroom dancing, and these two young, uh, you know, a young guy and a young young girl, who uh, fall in love and and they you know they enter a big uh, the holiday spin, which is a big contest down in Florida. Allie Bertman, her TV credits include uh, Hellcats, Sucker Punch, uh, Smallville credits go on but uh she won the dance the dance okay what she won is uh she came second place in so you think uh, think you can dance canada yeah she's a very prolific um like a taskmaster she puts a lot of pressure on herself a very hard worker 
Uh, oh, she is. Uh, takes her art very seriously. So did that give you some flexibility, some playing room? Because it looks like there were different takes you could work with with her because she seems versatile in, in her dancing. Well, you, you have you know you, you have to realize too that uh, Lifetime wanted uh, an American in that role, and we had to really push it. We had to push her. We had, because she didn't have very very much really act, you know very many acting credits uh, you know that, that that we could go out and say here's somebody that could really do this this big role. But she was, you know, she was a great dancer. <clears throat> so we pushed and pushed and pushed, and finally got her, uh, got Lifetime to say yes, uh, she can do the role, and and she was wonderful. I mean, she 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 pushed herself. Uh, not only that, but she, I mean, she's so disciplined as a dancer, and the choreographer just said, oh my God, you know, uh, she's she was just fantastic all the way through. Really easy to work with. Never. You know, I mean, she she didn't have a, an ego. You know, I mean, she just really, you know, any, anything he threw at her, she was able to uh, to do. You know, and and uh, she, I, I think she's I think she's going to be a brilliant star. You know, I I, I was I was very happy to work with her, and and that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm you know as a as a creative producer, um, I, I get a lot of gratification out of that. Out of really seeing a local talent work and a local talent do well in these movies. The music, what's that whole process like when when you're making a film like this? What what you want to get across with the music and and, and what stages do you, do you actually think about the scores you're going to have in your film? Well, it, it depends on the film. I mean, like uh, when you're doing a really moody film, when you're do, doing kind of a murder mystery when you're doing a true, true crime. You know, it, the, the music is a totally different. The, the mu music is is background. The music, uh, you know, enhances certain moods, enhances certain tones, uh, certain things that are going on. With Holiday Spin, the music was really important. The music is, is primary. Uh, we had... Uh, uh, you know, two different people. Uh, Michael Lloyd, who uh, actually did, did the music for Dirty Dancing, we had him take Christmas carols, regular Christmas carols, and 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 uh, change them to you know so so they could they they could uh, they could work for. Uh, uh, various different uh, salsa dances, various different ballroom dances, and and it was it was magical. I mean, he made jingle bells kind of you know for uh, you know for the samba. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's stuff where you know. It, so we had him and the composer working together. So we had two we had two people. We had a we had a, a music supervisor. Which Michael Lloyd was, and then we had Je uh, Jeff Toyn, who is a local uh, composer who ju who just worked really well with them. And between them, they had, you know, it was a brilliant score all the way around. You have a, a substantial body of work. I've created over a hundred documentaries and dramas over the past twenty years, including the long-running TV series Champions of the Wild, uh, the CBC television movie Scorn, and. Uh, which won a 2001 Gemini Award for Best Television Movie and uh, Healing with Animals Lee Award winner for Best Information Series in 2003. And, of course, the credits go on. You always hear from um, uh, people in film and artists how you're always learning the creative process carries on uh, what, you, what, you so, what you bring in, um, what you absorb. This whole experience of, of working with Ralph Macchio... Uh, he had a little. You saw him on Dancing with the Stars, and I hear, I heard his dancing it may have been limited. Uh, his his arsenal. What did you gain through that whole process of working with him? Well, uh, Ralph Macho is a consummate professional. He really helped the younger actors. He really helped the local kids. 
uh, all the way through, and uh, he was so giving. He was he would take time, uh, his own time, to help re- uh, rehearse with them. His, his dancing is good. His dancing was really good. What really make makes him a champion? What's what really made him uh, go as far as he did with uh, uh, Dancing with the Stars is his attitude, his his brilliance, you know, his 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 ability to just be positive, you know, uh, uh, just try everything he can to do the, do his best, and and you know, and he passes that on to kid, you know, to to, to other. You know his his fellow actors, and uh, everybody just thought it was uh, it was you know it was really great to work with him. I would work with him again and again. I would I would like to I would like to create material for him, and it, it, it was really really a, you know a great pleasure working with him. And um, yes, yeah, should also be mis- um, mentioned um, yeah to our listeners in, in the valley. Uh, and of course, in Greater Vancouver, um, yeah, this was shot. Uh, this film was um, Holiday Spin was shot in the Fraser Valley. Uh, notice that uh, a lot of sets are, are are filming in the valley. What what is unique about that whole context of of shooting over there? Well, it's it's two things. <clears throat> uh, one is purely financially. Yeah, sorry. Okay, it's two things. One is purely financial, and that is. The valley after 200th, uh, you know, in Langley and in, in Abbotsford, and and as you cross the Pitt River Bridge on the Maple Ridge side, uh, it, the that is considered a region, and you get a bigger tax credit for shooting in the region. But having said that, the other thing that that happens, it's small town America. A lot of Langley, a lot of Abbotsford. I, I love shooting on Montrose in Abbotsford. You know, it's it's just a, an ideal little all-American town, <clears throat> and it works. And nobody knows that this is Canada. And you know, it, it works for the story. It's it's you know, I mean, there, there there's so many great locations and and. Abbotsford, uh, Langley, Maple Ridge, even Mission, you know, and, and I've shot I've shot all over there. And you can do westerns, you can do you can do all sorts of different different types of films there. Yeah, it's a it's a special place, uh, the Valley. I'm sure a lot of the listeners uh, listening here on on Civil, um, and of course on, on CGSF. Uh, yeah, we all love going down to the Valley. Uh, listeners, um, we had um, this pleasure, this opportunity of speaking to uh, Vancouver producer Christian Bruyere of uh, Mystique Films, producer for the film Holiday Spin, uh, starring Ali Bertram and uh, Ralph Macchio, that will be uh, uh, airing on uh, CTV December the 21st at 9 p.m. and on December the 25th. Christmas Day at 7 p.m. Uh, thank you uh, so much for taking the time to do this interview. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, uh, another thing that I just wanted to bring out, uh, I, you know, part of my passion for doing Holiday Spin is I actually am one of those few, uh, I guess, you know, a few males, you know, uh, and, and especially amongst the people I hang out uh, that love uh, Dancing with the Stars, and uh, so you think you can dance. And I, I just really wanted to do something that that shares that joy uh, with a you know, big audience. And you know that was that, that was pretty much my primary motivation for uh, holiday spent. And uh, yeah, we uh, the listeners and we we all look forward to uh, to the yeah to seeing it on CTV this. December 21st and the 25th on Christmas Day.